Hey, Willie. Oh. Ooh. That's why we got that guitar going. Yeah. So I'm just going to learn a little bit about Glenn Campbell here. Glenn Travis Campbell, 36 to 2017, rest in peace, just, just uh, passed away. He released 64 albums. That's Zappa levels. Holy sh**. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Andy here. I am a guitar player. You know, I've been playing guitar for about... 25 years, more than 25 years, less than 30, more than 25. <laughs> I'm gonna, you guys figure it out at home. That'll be a fun little quiz for you. And in that time, and even longer than that, I have heard the name Glenn Campbell many, many times. I don't know anything about him as I sit here right now. I truly don't. I know nothing about the guy. I don't know that I've ever heard a Glenn Campbell song, but I've definitely heard the name. I know of him as an icon in, in the world of country music. And I, I really like a lot of country music. Not all country music is for me. By the way, I love how people always say that. And I always say it too. They're like, not all country music is for me. People don't say that about other forms of music. It's like, I love, uh, you know, I love rock and roll. Not all rock and roll is for me. Well, yeah, we know that. But anyway, so let me retract what I just said. I like country music, but I don't know anything about Glenn Campbell. I've been told that is a sin that I must rectify today. So today we will listen to his music. We will listen to a song of his that is very, very popular on YouTube. And then afterwards, I am going to do a little Wikipedia educational dive for myself. All right, here we go. Elton Jarvis. And he did it too slow. He did it too slow. And you did it faster. That was it. How, well, do it the way you did. Okay. It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, we're right into it here. Thank TNN. You. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag rolled up and stashed behind your couch. And it's knowing I'm not Hold shackled up. by forgotten words and bonds and ink stains that have dried upon some line. That keeps you in the back roads by the rivers of my memory. It keeps you ever gentle on my mind. It's not clinging to the rocks and ivy planted on their columns now that finds me. I don't know the song, I mean, it sounds like some Or like... something that somebody said because they thought we fit together walking. It's a great little tune. It's just knowing that the world will not be cursing or forgiving when I walk along some railroad track and find. Daddy, you were moving on the back roads by the rivers of my memory And for hours you're just gentle on my mind I'll play one Hey, Willie! Oh. Ooh! That's why we got that guitar going. Yeah! Some octaves there, okay. Yeah! <laughs> okay, hold on. We're gonna freeze there on Willie's face. All right, Willie. Willie's just trying to remember what day it is, man. <laughs> Love Willie Nelson, okay. All right, so now I know, I, at the beginning I was like, why do people ask me to watch it? I mean, it's a great little country tune. He's got that happy little charming uh, kind of sachet, the swish back and forth the, uh, in the D and E. Kind of a Travis pick thing with the um, alternating bass line. And then when he goes up to solo, he flies up to C, which would put him in Mixolydian, I believe. I mean, it has that country feel, but it also goes into the bluesier and jazzier side of things. and. So he's following his vocal melody here, but he's adding in those uh, little... Uh... Goes back up to the... reestablish the melody again. Come back down with some of those octaves. He, he communicates so much with his face as he's playing. 
and just his, his groovy get into it vibe and everybody's having such a good time. And I don't know what year this is, uh, perhaps we'll find out in a moment, but um, I love, I realize he has this huge band right behind him, even though he's singing, he's sitting with all these people and just kind of having a conversation. He just has a band behind him, wouldn't you love that? If like you're at a dinner table and you just had a band behind you that could just, just start playing with you anytime you need enough to. Um, so I love the setup. I love that they're all just sitting in a circle and having a conversation. There's just a band there. Hey guys, it's me here during the edit. And actually I'm embarrassed because I just found out in looking up the song that it was written by uh, a gentleman named John Hartford and actually not by Glenn Campbell, but Glenn Campbell's version became the kind of known version. It became the kind of biz uh, the biggest one. All right, let's finish li listening to it. I'm enjoying it. Oh, we've got a big crush on uh, Glenn Campbell here. <laughs> Oh, he's a jazz guy, too, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Army dip my cup of soup back from the Kirkland Crackland cauldron in some train yard. With my beard a roughening coal pile and a dirty hat pulled low across my face. Look how much he can connect with people as he's doing so many other things. Daddy, you're waving from the back roads by the rivers of my memory. Ever smiling, ever alone, my mind. And everybody I've definitely heard this voice before. Wow. Okay, hold on. Oh. Yeah. I've definitely heard Glenn Campbell's voice before. I've definitely heard that. Really deep, rich voice. I love how he's able to sway into it, communicate. This man's played this song probably 1,200 times. <laughs> and, you know, it, one great thing actually about the classics, and one thing you know you're listening to a classic, a classic is if you can hear it a few million times and still connect with it, still gets into your soul, that's a good song. You know, like I, I have this shuffle list of music that just... It doesn't get old. I mean, it gets old, but it always comes back. You know, it always, it always has a renaissance, always reborn. All right, I'm going to butcher it here real quick and just try to get that, that sound, that, uh, that deep, booming kind of tenor. It's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. Makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag and roll up step behind your couch. So I'm just gonna learn a little bit about Glenn Campbell here. Glenn Travis Campbell, 36 to 2017, rest in peace, just, just uh, passed away. Was an American country singer, guitarist, songwriter, and actor. He was best known for a series of hit songs in the 60s and 70s and for hosting the Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour on CBS television from 69 until 72. He released 64 albums. That's Zappa levels, holy sh**. <laughs> All right. Good for him. 64 albums, very prolific, and a career that spanned five decades, selling over 45 million records worldwide, including 12 gold albums, four platinum albums, and one double platinum album. Cable started playing guitar at age four after his father gave him a Sears bought $5 guitar as a gift, with his uncle Boo teaching him the basics of how to play. Most of his family was musical, he said. Back home, everybody plays and sings. By the time he was six, he was performing on local radio stations. Wow, okay, that's young. I know that, um, was it Josh Smith maybe got started at four? I mean, there's some other people, some other greats that got started at four. That must be great as a parent, like when your kid just takes up guitar at four, you're like, all right, that, that kid's set. Just give him guitars, so it'll be fine. Uh, Campbell continued playing guitar in his youth with no formal training and practiced when he was not working in the cotton fields. He developed his talent by listening to radio and records and considered Django Reinhardt among his most admired guitarists. So he is a jazzer. He is a secret jazz guy. You can just tell in some of those deviations in the way he, uh, cause that was not a standard country lead. Um, later calling him the most awesome player I've ever heard. He dropped out of school in the 10th grade at 14 to work in Houston alongside his brothers, installing insulation and later working at a gas station. Dear God, when you think about <laughs> guitar players and how precious we are about our fingers, the idea you'd be having them in insulation all day is terrible. I mean, he's had such a spectacular career. I, am a, I apologize for not knowing who he was really before. Did he write Rhinestone Cowboy? What are his big hits? Let's look up his big hits, because I want to see... He wrote Rhinestone Cowboy. Like a rhinestone cow... He wrote Rhinestone Cowboy? Like a rhinestone cowboy. Holy cow. Like a rhinestone cowboy. Wow, okay. 
Biggies. Wichita Lineman. Oh, of course he wrote Wichita Lineman. It has that late 60s so sound too, where kind of country was bleeding into other forms of music and, and had all these other kind of kooky influences. Wow, okay, so he was a big deal, guys. Southern Nights, by the time I get to Phoenix, Gentle on my mind, we just, we just try a little kindness. True Grit, great song, great movie. I mean, this guy, I'd have to listen to each one of these to know if I've heard them before, but maybe I should, I don't know. Um, he's got a great sound. He's got a great, like, just seeing somebody like that, you know, he's a little bit older here. He's a seasoned performer at this time. And just to see all those little tricks of the trade, kind of, how do you connect with an audience? How do you, how do you keep it fresh after so long? And um, how do you make it entertaining for yourself and for other people? Just great performer. Very cool video, you guys. Thank you very much for recommending it. I was recommended to watch this video, the Glenn Campbell video, after I watched Roy Clark recently. And if you haven't seen that video, it will be right here. Feel free to click on it. You can do it, go ahead, it's all right. Get over there. And please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like and subscribe. And until next time, keep playing. <laughs>